this whole middle section here that is all oh wow it's really really soft even a piece just broke apart in my spoon uh, yeah that is really creamy and it just dissolves in your mouth so kaki kambing kaki kambing mutton leg soup is coming up next kaki satu mutton satu kaki satu lagi satu sama Nida, Nida buat. Ada apa pedo mak? Yang satu lagi sama, cuma yang satu nggak pakai biji. Terima kasih. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm hanging out with my friend Ken, who is a local Indonesian blogger and a food lover. And tonight for dinner, we are at a restaurant that serves soup kaki kambing, which is goat leg soup. This place is called Sudi Mampir, which is meaning uh, willing to come. So they want people to be willing to come to this place. So they serve like uh, goat legs uh, soup with different, uh, a lot of different organs and also satays and a lot of different awesome drinks. This is a stall that sets up, but it's covered in a tarp and then there are kind of canvas walls all the way around. And they have a couple tables in the back near a convenience store back there. But we got front row counter almost like bar counter seating. And this is a restaurant that specializes in all sorts of goat, especially goat leg soup. And so they have a couple of goat legs, fresh goat legs hanging in the back. Uh, so it's like a fresh goat butchery. And what they do is they take all the different parts of the goat and the goat legs. I think what they do is they boil the different goat parts in a soup. And then after that, they separate the soup and the goat parts. And so when you order, you just kind of point to the different organs organs, meats. and pieces of goat that you want and they put them all into a bowl. And then after that, once you assemble your, your personalized bowl of goat organs and goat parts, then they refill your bowl up with more milky brothy soup. And Ken is gonna explain what is all in it. So there is a lot of different things going on here. So this is the uh, testicles oh, of yeah. the goat. Oh, yes. So this is the brain of oh, the goat. The brain. Oh, the brain. Nice, dude. And we have also the eyes. Ken and I got two different bowls of the soup, and they each contain different organs or pieces. So this is the other bowl. So this is the legs. See, you got the legs. Also, oh, this one is mostly yeah. leg in this bowl. And meat. Before we dig into the soup, though, I'm gonna try a couple of the drinks that they serve here. The specialty drinks. This one is a coconut and orange juice and there are pieces of coconut meat in here as well. What is the name of this? A kelapa jeruk which is uh, coconut and orange. It's sweet but it's really refreshing. The like sweet refreshment refreshmentness of the coconut but with the the sour hanginess of that orange. So this one is called kelapa kopior. So it's a smaller type of coconut uh, but the meat is kind of like more shaved and okay. it's more milky and more fatty and it's so awesome. And then they blend it up with some condensed milk and ice. So it's um, kind of a, a coconut milkshake. Yeah, true. All right, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that is ridiculously creamy. Dissolves. That just dissolves, man. It just like liquefies in your mouth. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set the drinks aside. We're moving on to the, the goat soup now. Before moving into the goodies of this soup, I'm just gonna taste that broth. Dude, that is, it's creamy, but not too rich but it's salted and you can taste kind of an undertone of spices, maybe some like cinnamon, cinnamon. spice. I taste some cinnamon in there. It has a kind of an herbal, sweet cinnamon undertone flavor to it. In order to enhance the broth even more, I'm gonna add some lime. And these are just little limes. 
but they are really nice and sour. This is ketchup manis, which is sweet soy sauce. Okay. All right, good. Just a touch, not too much. And then mix that in. And then additionally, along with this meal, there are some pickles, cucumber, cucumbers and shallots and chilies and carrots in here. What should we start with? Uh, the most extreme, the te testicles. All right, Ken says we're starting with the testicles. I think that's testicle, right? Yep. All right, man. I'm gonna get some soup with that as well. <laughs> Surprisingly good. That's incredible. It's really kind of spongy and, and fluffy. And then the outside layer is a little bit gelatinous. But then the inside is quite firm but spongy. And then the flavor, you do taste a little bit of a gamey... You can definitely taste that it's a goat. And also, we're gonna get some chili sauce on our plates to eat their next bite with chili sauce. Okay. All right, next bite. We Let's gonna... go for the eyes. Okay. Should we go for the eyes? Yep. All right. I think that is an eye right there. The one with, with the, the black socket. Spot. Just like the socket the and socket, the... Yeah, yeah. the Muscles. Meat around it. I think this needs some hot sauce, definitely. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's almost the texture of squid. It's a little chewy and very smooth all the way through. That's like a snail almost. That's like creamy herbal soup. Oh, it's amazing. And then with all those shallots, those crispy shallots on top, so it has a caramelized onion flavor as well. This whole middle section here, that is all, oh wow, it's really, really soft. Even a piece just broke apart in my spoon. Creamy. Right, Let's get some of that brain, dude. Oh yeah, that is. Oh my God. Oh, there it is, that's brain. Okay, that just needs to be eaten immediately. Oh. Yeah. That is really creamy, and it just dissolves in your mouth. For our next bite, we're going in for some leg. And what, dude, Ken, what part of the leg is this from? I think it's, it's the final tip on the bottom, and the skin. Before the hoof. Yep. So this is the section right before the hoof. You can see, is that skin, or is it, um... It's skin and some oh, what uh, is that? tendon. It's the, it's the, the oh, shoes. Oh, it's the joint. Yeah. It's the shoe. Oh, it is the hoof. Yeah. It's part of the hoof. So you just sort of... Nah, all the... Yep, just okay. chew it. Mm. Yeah, that's a... It's all about the texture. It's rubbery, but you can chew it. And it's kind of kind of gelatinous, definitely. Definitely some cartilage textures going on as well. And then there's a bone in the middle of that. We're gonna take a break from the goat part soup real fast to dig into some satay. And this is also mutton satay. This is peanut sauce and sweet, okay. sweet soy sauce. And okay. you heat it with uh, some onions and tomatoes and some chilies. And look at that amount of peanut sauce. Oh, so you mix, you mix up the whole thing with the peanut sauce and the vegetables, those chilies, those shallots in there. And you just eat it like that. With and tomatoes. eat the whole thing with one, okay. So much peanut sauce. Oh, I gotta get a tomato. And you want I gotta get a shallot in this bite as well. Chili is a one good bite. Idea. Oh no, my tomato. Okay. All right, cheers. All right, cheers, man. <laughs> Dude, that's ridiculous, man. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that meat is so tender and so smoky. And I was actually expecting the peanut sauce to be sweeter, but I'm really happy that it's not that sweet. It's just really thick and fluffy like peanut butter with chilies and then the meat. The meat is so smoky and so flavorful. Mm. Yeah, that's insane, man. Too good. Yeah, it's so good. I'm blown away by that. It's not there. I'm reaching the bottom of this bowl, but there are still. Oh, where did that piece of tongue go? There was a tongue. That one. Is that it? Yeah. No, that's hoof. 
Oh no, we lost the tongue. There was a little piece of tongue in here somewhere, but it's somewhere swimming at the bottom of the bowl now. Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, here's a little piece of tongue. Yeah, I'm gonna mix that with some chili and eat it with rice. Oh yeah. Oh, the tongue just tastes like regular meat. It's really good, it's firm, it's, yeah. It's maybe a little less stringy than normal meat, but really, really good. Terima kasih. Just about a 10 minute drive over to a place called Martabak 65A, which specializes in Martabak Manis, which is the sweet version of Martabak. Yep. And this is a legendary spot, right? The most famous, the best of all. What they do is they have some really big, like, kind of waffle makers. And they pour in a bunch of batter, and then it starts to slowly cook. And then he, I saw him sprinkle on a bunch of sugar as well. And then after that, it transfers over to the cutting board where they prepare the Martabak. And so then it's just like a big, gigantic, like, waffle. And then he takes a scoop of butter that literally probably equals an entire cup full of butter, but it's kind of like, it's kind of whipped. It looks kind of like a half, halfway between butter and whipped cream. And then he spreads it all within that martabak, that waffle pancake. And then after that, he puts on a bunch of cheese and then a bunch of chocolate. They have a lot of different toppings, but we go for the classic ones. So we got the classic one, yeah. which includes cheese, uh, chocolate, chocolate and peanuts. And peanuts. He sprinkled that very thickly all over the waffle and then folded it in half. Yep. And then he, he, oh, one more, I forgot to add, he adds some more butter <laughs> onto the very top of it and it just melts instantly because it's so hot. And then he chops it all into pieces. A lot of people come here and order for takeaway and then a lot of people also get motorbike drivers to come here and order and then deliver back to their home or house so they can just receive their martabak. But they also have a couple tables right here where you can sit down and eat. And it is so huge that it's really, uh, it really, I think it can be considered an entire cake. Wow, dude. Oh, man. We got half with cheese. And this is the cheese one, and you can see that layer of cheese. And look at that dough. It's so stringy. It almost looks like Swiss cheese, actually, the, the batter itself. But you can tell that's gonna be very fluffy and airy. Yep. And then on this side, this one is the chocolate and peanuts. And when he slices it, you can just see like that peanuts and that chocolate just starting Breaking to slowly, out. slowly oozing out of the, <laughs> of the sandwich. To fit it in, they actually have to like smush down the box a bit to get it all in there. Okay. Which one are you gonna try first? Let's do, let's do the chocolate first. Okay. Here we go. It's kind of crunchy. Mm. Gooey and sticky and fluffy and mm. sweet and chocolatey and nutty all at the same time. And then since I got the end piece, it's also kind of crunchy at the same time as well. Okay. It's now cheese time. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, that literally just like oozes with butter and cheese as you take a bite. Oh my god. That might be the most butteriest thing I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this pretty much sums it up. Yeah. That's just like, imagine taking a, a doughy sponge and just soaking it in butter and then putting cheese in the middle of it. And that's exactly what you have here. <laughs> you just miss it sometimes, right? But you cannot eat it every day. That's for sure. Every kind of dessert and snack and cheesy, buttery snack that you can think of and just times it by by five <laughs> and you have this martabak. We definitely did not finish all of that martabak. It is huge oh and it should be shared with like uh, eight people, eight or more people. But we did have a couple slices and that is definitely the most ridiculous dessert that I think I've ever had in my life. So a big thank you to Ken for bringing us around and he also 
uh, posts a lot of food on Instagram as well as on his blog, chawarakus.com. Be sure to check out his blog and his Instagram. I'll put the links in the description box below. It's been a great food evening in Jakarta. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and see you on the next food video.